What is this thing I found in a storage room at a nearby castle from the 17th century? The staff could not identify it. So I offered to try here. It was found in Havdala Castle in southern Sweden, a fascinating landmark with traces of fighting during the Scanian War. Any suggestions? It's almost certainly a Hawksby machine, a very primitive generator built by Francis Hawksby, an 18th century English scientist and inventor. It's one of the first visible electrical light sources that used static electricity, upon which Nairns and Holtz based their machines. Air is removed from within the glass sphere with an air pump. After that, you crank the wooden handle and place another hand gently on the surface of the glass. What results is a blue glow emanating from the surface of the glass where the hand is making contact. It's supposed to look lovely in a dark room. Back in the 18th and 19th centuries, rich people were obsessed with electricity and zapped themselves for party tricks regularly. What is this slide out tool of some sort? The black site is a brush of some sort with densely packed bristles. The other site is a mirror of some sort, but appears designed for examining extremely close objects. I'm guessing it's some sort of specialized tool, but no idea what. It's very light, the outside is wood, and the inside is some sort of light plastic. It randomly showed up while we were moving, and I have no idea where it came from. My girlfriend and I are moving in together. So it could be either of ours, but neither of us claims ownership. What is this thing? It's a vintage tool for cleaning record player needles. Made during the 1970s, it is compact and folds into a wooden case. When pulled out, there is a magnifying mirror on one side to observe the condition of the needle and a high quality brush on the other side to dust off debris. What are these mysterious road rectangles? I assume they are some kind of traffic sensor, and they also have two cameras pointed directly at them. I only ever see these in scale houses. We have many traffic speed sensors in the county, but these are unique. Thanks. They are called pre-pass for trucks. The plates check the weight, and the camera looks at the truck. There's also a transponder on a pole that receives a signal from a transponder in the truck. It receives all the truck information, and determines if it needs to go into the way station or not. If they don't, they get a green light on the transponder in the truck and can keep going. If they do, it's red. What is this thing I found in a storage unit while helping with an estate? It seems like it might be a handheld tool of some sort. It's made of wood. Two points are sharpened and not a straight edge on it anywhere. Most other items in the storage unit were from the 90s. We honestly have no idea what it is. Other people that we have asked thought maybe a table saw push block. But it seems big and clunky for that. Plus why the points then? What is this thing? It's a mid-century design tailor's board. I was a tailor's apprentice, and we used them all the time to press seams and push out corners. It also keeps your hands a little bit away from the steam. The pointy part is used for pressing collars and other small areas. What is this metal thing on a handle with a weight on a chain? It is approximately 12.5 inches long. Most of the metal is not magnetic or only very mildly. The chain and pointed tip are the only magnetic. The green in the middle might be glass or stone. It opens by pulling the top straight off and has a long roll of paper with markings inside. The paper seems to have a regular repeating pattern. Any info would be greatly appreciated, thanks in advance. It's a Tibetan prayer wheel, an example of Buddhist technology. It allows the faithful to multiply the number of prayers they express by millions. This is because prayer wheels are filled with copies of mantras, some sacred spells associated with particular deities. The mantra is printed on very thin tissue paper as many times as possible, in some cases numbering in the millions. The paper is wrapped around a spindle and covered with a protective cylinder. Worshippers turn prayer wheels to accumulate merit, to help all beings in the world, and to purify their karma. What is this thing I found in an old house? It's made out of metal with a hook at the bottom, and what looks like a hanger on the top. I tried googling the maker but couldn't find anything. The metal hook at the bottom has some give in it like it's got a spring behind it, but pulling it doesn't do anything. Any ideas? It's a clockwork roasting jack from the 19th century. 
also known as a bottle jack or meat jack. It's a clockwork mechanism that they used to use to spin meat on an open fire. It cooked the meat evenly all around, while you were basting. It was one of the very first labor-saving devices in a mid-Victorian kitchen. It consists of a spring enclosed in a brass cylinder and requires winding up before it is used. What is this large bowl made of copper with riveted joints found in a 500-year-old English cottage? Does anyone know any specifics such as the manufacturer? It appears to be a copper planter and is about 60 centimeters in diameter on the top rim and is riveted together. I found it in my parents' cottage in Kent, England, which is a 500-year-old cottage. The blue oxide is what makes me think it's made of copper. I am hesitant to try to clean it up at all as the few things I have found from Google searches make me believe it's quite old. Any ideas? It's a copper water boiler. If it is like 200 years old, the manufacturer is the local tinsmith or coppersmith. I have a very similar one in Australia. Mine belonged to my grandfather who used it to boil the laundry in it. It was very common in many federations and early 20th century homes, normally bricked in and next to a big double laundry tub. There was always a smooth pole nearby to stir the washing and to lift the hot clothes out of the copper. What is this weird furniture? It's actually quite comfy once you have saddled in. My best guess would be a prayer chair. Does anyone know what is it exactly and what is its use? It is called a voyeur's chair, for use in spectator events or at a gaming table. Likely from the 19th century in Georgian style. I presume this is a gentleman's style as it wouldn't be terribly proper for a lady. I'm sure if a lady sat side saddle, the bar would then be utilized for leaning on her right elbow. What is this thing? My father said it's from a German ship, but seems small for that. It's 18 inches long, about 40 pounds, and has some Nazi markings on it. It's been in the family for decades and was brought back by my great uncle. The story goes that it's a German ship rangefinder, but that's all I know. I looked online for rangefinders, but nothing looks like this. I'm just curious to learn more about it. It's a World War II Kriegsmarine binocular. This one was attached to each side of a naval gun, this being a right-hand model. This is a beautifully engineered instrument, full of optics and bevel and spur gears, and has an outstanding performance. The magnification is altered by the rotation of twin Barlow lenses via gearing. The T-coated optics include very large Schmidt roof prisms, four lens eyepieces, and various filters and graticules that can be illuminated at night. What is this box made of wood with a bunch of strangely shaped holes? Stands about 16 inches tall and is about 12 inches wide. It's beautifully crafted and was found on the sofa table in a house from the early 1900s. Looks to have been made to hold things, but didn't see a way to access the large space at the bottom of the box. What is it for? It's a Sheraton knife box. These were made in the 18th century primarily and some in the 19th century. Much more popular in England than in the US. I would guess yours is English for sure, and dates about 1800 or a bit earlier. The entire center section should lift out, but might be stuck due to age, or something holding it down. Be careful not to pull too hard on any of it. The wood is fragile at this age. What type of hat do you think Carl Friedrich Gauss wore in this painting? My best guess would be a songcock or a beretta, but I'm not really sure. Any ideas? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.